What's up, Facebook? It's your boy Shadow Boy, and I'm back. Um, I know I'm a little late on doing live streams, but this last few hours have been very, very rough. And you guys, as my friends, my fan base, my family. I want y'all to know the truth. This is no longer just about me. This has gotten to be a political issue that is very serious. Um, if you guys don't know, I've got fans all over the world, you know, in different countries, and I appreciate all my fans. I really do. I appreciate every single one of them to the fullest. And, you know, and I don't see my fans as just fans. I see my fans as, you know, new friends that like to chill out and rock out to my stuff. Well, today I was sitting here watching, you know, the Sean White documentary on HBO, which is still on, still going, when I decided to send out some newsletters to, you know, a good majority of my fan base, letting them know, hey, this is going on, you know, there's a show coming up on the 21st, you know, my album's releasing, I was giving them, you know, the update on what's going on. When I found out that one of my super fans, Sofia from New Mexico, well, she's originally from Spain, but she had moved to New Mexico as a young child. They had, you know, came over here, which I thought was pretty cool. But she really got into my music at a real young age and been listening to my music for a long time. Yeah, it's even hard just even just talking about this is hard. I found out from her family that she had passed away today. The reason why was unfortunately something that's very close to me, which is suicide. And the reason why she committed suicide was because her brother is a small-time filmographer on YouTube. He, you know, travels different places, and one of the places he went was North Korea. And I've seen some of his vlogs. He's got some really cool stuff. Like, he travels all over. Well, if you guys don't know, North Korea is very strict on a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Shut both doors. I already did. Okay. Thank you. Mm. But uh, as you guys may or may not know, North Korea is very strict on a lot of things. And, you know, he was a Christian, so he always carried this real small pocket Bible with him. He would carry it inside of his jacket wherever he went. So whenever he got the time, he would do his Bible study and stuff like that, which I was cool with. And I always watched his videos, like, all the time. But he didn't know this, and he was not aware of this, but you are not allowed to have anything that does not pertain to Kim Jong-un. Like, you can't have Bibles or any of that. Like, they're very, very, very strict. Well, he found, well, he was, I forget what he was doing. I think he was going to leave. And mind you, there's guards 
there's literally militant guards at almost every housing unit in that country. And he just happened to be in a housing unit where a guard was there. And he went to leave, and they do random checks every now and then. And unfortunately, they found the pocket Bible. And just a couple of days ago, I found out that he was executed for having his pocket Bible, which they consider contraband. Him and 80 plus others were murdered within a few hours. Because of them having and doing stuff that is not allowed. And she found out about it. Mind you, Sophia was very close with her brother. She was, Sophia and her older brother were so close that he was like a father figure to her. Like he really looked after and took care of her. But... This isn't just a message for everybody out there in the military force. This is also a message to Donald Trump. We need to put an end to this shit. Like, and this is something that a lot of you might not realize. You guys don't see the horrors that go on behind closed doors. Like, this man, Kim Jong-un, he's, if I had to compare him to something, I would compare this man to Hitler. He's basically another Hitler reincarnated. Like, this man kills people every day and gets away with it. And if you want to know what life is really like, allow me to tell you. You can't have Bibles. You can't have internet. And if you do have internet, you're only allowed to, you know, research stuff up about their fearless leader who they have to worship as a god. Like, everything is centered around North Korea's leader. They have to treat him like a god. They can't watch TV outside of North Korean TV, which mostly is propaganda about Kim Jong-un. They have to pray to him every day. They have to treat this man like a god every day. What Kim Jong-un shows the world is just what he wants them to see. All the glitz and glamour of North Korea and the latest working hospitals, that's all smoke and mirrors. That's all that is, is smoke and mirrors. This man kills his own people and commits genocide every day. This man kills thousands upon thousands every day and gets away with it. This man is no leader. This man is a genocidal monster. He commits genocide on his own people daily and gets away with it. You guys thought the Holocaust was bad? You guys thought that the Vegas massacre was bad? You take those two and that only puts not even a dent in the people that Kim Jong-un has killed. You take the Las Vegas massacre and you times that by 20. 
And that's the amount of people that Kim Jong-un has killed over the years. This man needs to stop. 